What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with the beginner guitar tutorial for Go Flex by Post Malone. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below what are the songs by Post Malone that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Go Flex on guitar is that in order to get rid of some bar chords and keep the song as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to 5th fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing you want to know for Go Flex is the structure of this song. We're going to start out with a verse, then we're going to go to chorus, then we're going to have another verse and another chorus, then we'll have a short bridge and we'll finish up the song with one last chorus. And guys, finally, the last thing that you want to know before we dive into Go Flex is the five chords that you need to play this song. The first one is E minor. The next one is A minor. The next one is C. The next one is G. And the last one is F major 7. And I'll have chord charts for all of those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And guys, with all that in mind, let's dive into Go Flex. Uh, guys, I have gotten so many requests for this song. This is an older Post Malone song, so I've gotten requests for it for quite a long time. And I was just listening to it the other day, and I was like, how have I not taught this song yet? It's a perfect one for beginner guitarists. It's a lot of fun. Again, I know a lot of you guys out there have been requesting it, so I'm stoked to finally get to it. So with that in mind, guys, the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the first thing that we hear in the song, which is our verses. For our verses, we're just going to have a simple chord progression and a simple strum pattern to go along with it. Our chord progression for our verses is going to be F major 7, C, G, and A minor. And that's just going to repeat through all of our verses. So let's break this strum pattern down. We're going to use our F major 7 as our example here because it's our first chord in the song. So what we're going to do for this strum pattern is we're going to have a series of seven down strums followed by a down up. Now you'll notice that some of those down strums there in that series are smaller than the other down strums. All that means is that we're going to play those small down strums a little softer than the full-sized big down strums. What that actually looks like is this. We're going to have a big down strum is going to be about like a pretty full normal strum. About like that. And then the smaller strums are just going to be about like just a little softer. So what that actually looks like in practice is about like this. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have that down up at the very end. So if you notice, it kind of alternates between those bigger strums and the smaller strums, and it gives us that perfect little sound, and I like it a lot. It sounds really good to kind of mix it up like this. It sounds very accurate to the song. It's definitely what Post is doing when he plays this live. So again, guys, starting with that F major 7, let's walk through this whole progression. We're going to go down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down. Down, 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 up. Just about like that, repeated through all of our verses. So like I said, guys, nothing too crazy here, just a fairly simple chord progression with a fairly simple strum pattern to go along with it, repeated through all of our verses. So with that in mind, guys, a couple of times to that verse, chord progression, and strum pattern without me talking will look about like this.
And from there, guys, the only other thing is she need to know to play Go Flex on guitar is what we're playing for our choruses and our bridge. For our choruses and our bridge, we're just gonna have a simple chord progression and another simple strum pattern to go along with it. Pretty much the same sort of thing as what we have played in our verse, just a little bit different. So what we're gonna have here for our chord progression is gonna be an E minor, F major seven, C, and G repeated through all of our choruses and our bridge, just like that. What we're gonna be doing for strum pattern here is a little bit more simple. We'll use our E minor as our example here. For each chord, we're gonna play down, 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 up. Just like that, and then switch to the next chord. Straight out, we're not doing any of those smaller kind of down strums, nothing like that. We're just playing it straight out, real big, real loud. If you heard him play this live or acoustic or even in the original version of the song, you can definitely hear it. it's very clear, just kind of banging on the guitar, just like that. Real big, loud, down, 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 up, whenever it gets to that chorus part. So with that in mind, guys, a little walkthrough of what that whole progression will look like with that strum pattern is about like this. Again, starting with the E minor, we'll go down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Again, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And that right there is going to repeat through all of our choruses and our bridge for the song. And that is the only other thing you need to know to play this song. It's a pretty quick and easy one to learn. And again, this will match up exactly with what Post is playing on guitar. So with all that in mind, guys, a couple of times through that chord progression and strum pattern, it's going to repeat through all of our choruses and our bridge on Go Flex will look about like this without me talking. And guys, that is everything you need to know to play Go Flex on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 840 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see what song I'm working on next, be sure to hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. And lastly, guys, if you want to support the channel and get your name in the credits at the end of each new guitar tutorial, you can hit up my Patreon at patreon.com slash the guitar dude. Link for that will be in the description below as well. Guys, Go Flex is one of those songs that I've been meaning to get to for the longest time, and I've gotten so many requests for it, and I really enjoy teaching Post Malone songs too, and so I don't know why it took me so long to actually get to this song, but I'm glad I finally did because it's a really good song for beginner guitarists to learn, fairly simple chord progressions with fairly simple strum patterns to go along with them. And yeah, it's just a cool song. I love teaching Post Malone songs. I listen to his music a fair bit. Like he's not an artist I listen to all the time, but I do get in these vibes where I just love listening to Post Malone. It's he's like all I want to listen to. And um, fun fact, he's actually from the area that I'm from, the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas. So it's kind of cool. I always love kind of you know, finding out where artists like come from and especially when an artist comes from an area that you came from, it's kind of cool to get to learn and play their music. So anyways, guys, like I said, nothing too crazy complicated in this song. It's a lot of fun to play. It's a really groovy song. I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.